Hello, sweet friends. It's Angie, and welcome to the Bumblebee Farmhouse, a place where I hope that you can find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Bumblebee Farmhouse. I'm so glad that you guys are here hanging out with me today. Today's video is super special. I am doing a collaboration here with Rebecca from Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. If you guys are coming over from Rebecca's channel, I want to welcome you guys. Welcome to The Bumblebee Farmhouse and welcome if you're just new, and welcome back if you guys are returning. Today, we will both be having some really fun Christmas content for you guys on our channels, and I'm so excited that you're here for this. So if you guys wanna grab a, a cup of something warm and cozy, or just a cute, sweet, cuddly puppy to cozy up with, you guys, join me today on my channel as I get decorating for Christmas. Rebecca, this means so much to me. Thank you so much for collaborating with me here today on my channel. It means so much to me. And thank you so much for your very kind friendship. It means a lot to me. But you guys, let's go ahead and get to decorating for Christmas. You guys, Rebecca has an absolutely gorgeous home. She is so talented in her decorating. You guys are going to love her content. I am going to link her channel down below in the description box where you guys can find her. Go on over, give her that thumbs up, subscribe to her YouTube family. I know she'll love it. So without any further ado, I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi friends. I'm so happy to be collabing with Angie for today's video. My name is Rebecca Fraser and my channel is called Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I do a lot of decorating over there and of course my sweet puppy Holstein is always included in my videos. I love Angie's channel. I'd say we've gotten to know each other better this past month and we chat a lot on Instagram and she's just the sweetest person and so beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. She truly does inspire me with her channel and it's always so cozy her editing skills are perfection and she's the sweetest person ever so if you enjoy her channel I really do hope you'll come and check mine out I do post daily every Monday and I'd love to see you there bye friends so I'll be starting off this vignette here in the corner of our family room with some vintage decor these Santas are truly vintage. A lot of them were picked up in antique shops and this one right here with the bell in his hand was given to me by my grandmother. This Santa is very special to me. He would be perched up in the dining room of my grandmother's house right on her buffet. And as I was a little girl, I used to pick him up and hug him and kiss him and tell him how much I loved him because that's how excited I was for Christmas when I was a child. These Santas here were picked up in antique shops. This one particularly was picked up in Door County, Wisconsin. It is very, very special to me. I fell in love with the Santa when I saw him. And I have some vintage angels also that were originally tree toppers. But I do collect Santas. Um, this one right here was picked up at a little antique mall by our house here where I live now and the bottom it says to Tom 1972 which I think that's just so special because that is somebody's love and memories. And since we're keeping up with a vintage theme in this room, I thought I would put on some really wonderful vintage movies. Do any of these movies look familiar to you guys? And 
I feel like if you're gonna do Christmas decor, every house should have the little red truck. I love the nostalgia of a mid-century vintage Christmas. I sometimes think about our home and what it would have been like in Christmases past before we purchased this house. Our home was built in 1972, um, much, much sooner than I was born. I was born in 1982, but I do often wonder um, when I think about this home, what it would have been like around the holidays and who would have gathered here in this home and do they have all of these nostalgic items that I love to carry in our home now. I love learning about things and people. I love learning about pasts and I love learning about the present too but there's something I think so beautiful about the past. Um, I love to think about what this home would have been like and who would have gathered around the Christmas tree and what Christmas would have been like for these families that lived here prior to us. And since I have such a love for dogs, if you guys didn't know that, I do have these really cute pillows of this van. Uh, looks like a, a Volkswagen van, a vintage van with, what is that, like a black lab driving with the Santa's hat. And then I have this really cute fire truck pillow um, with a Dalmatian. I love dogs. And then I did purchase this beautiful flocked tree this year and I decided to add some faux popcorn and cranberry garland on there, um, some rustic looking bells, and then just some nostalgic looking um, ornaments that I had collected the last few years just to put on the tree to give him that pop of retro color. And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but my dog, Benny, he's a Pekingese. They're both Pekingese. Um, he's snoring in the background. So if you hear like snoring and like little piggy snorts, that's Benny, you guys. I am not snorting into the microphone. <laughs> and then I do have these really beautiful flickering candle lights. Again, these are also from Kurt Adler, but they look like they're her candles in a hurricane. They're so beautiful. And these were also picked up in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I love shopping in the Smokies. And I just wanted to be cozy today. So you guys, I am decorating in my PJs. These are like the, one of the cutest PJs I have. They're these white, super soft PJs and they have these beautiful red cardinals on them. I thought this is perfect for the winter and for this cozy video. I feel like with the vintage kind of theme tree, you have to have some pastels on there. So I just have these glass bulbs that I'm just kind of putting all over the tree to give them a little bit of pop of shine and color. And this beautiful angel tree trapper, she stole my heart about four years ago at a little antique shop in Richfield, Illinois. I can't imagine what beautiful Christmases this tree topper has seen. Let me tell you what it was like for our Christmases growing up as a child. We were never extremely spoiled with presents. We only got a few each year and we were very, very happy with that. We did the usual thing that a lot of children do. We left cookies and milk out for Santa. We hung up our stockings near the fireplace. 
But I remember as a child having so much joy in my heart, waiting for Santa to come in the middle of the night and leave us a present. Our grandparents used to come over with our cousins and our aunts and our uncles, and we would open some family gifts. Christmas Eve was always such a big day for us and our family because it's the day that we got together with our relatives. And doing little things back then were such a big deal as a child. I remember we would get together with our cousins and we would all put the Christmas tree up together. And my dad would have us stand in front of the fireplace and we would sing jingle bells and he would try to sing along with us. But my father is an immigrant that came here from Greece and he has a very thick accent. So he would do a pretty good job singing with us, but he definitely had a very thick accent. But we would sing all of these wonderful Christmas songs growing up and just I remember putting up the tree with my cousins and there was just so much joy in my heart. Sometimes I feel that society today loses the, um, the joy of doing something so, so simple but to me back then it was so, so special and those are memories that I'll carry with me forever. But isn't that what life is? Isn't it about creating love and memories and taking them with you wherever it is that you go? Send me someone to love so I can hold their hand while we ride skating around the streets Central Park. Kiss them under the mistletoe. So this fireplace mantle, I am also decorating it very nostalgic. I have some beautiful pieces that were purchased at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart. Um, these are truly vintage inspired. They are gorgeous and I'm just pairing them with some greenery. So the one side of the fireplace, I have vintage looking or vintage inspired snowman decor. And on the other side of the TV, the other side of the mantle, I have vintage inspired um, Santa decor. So I have my vintage snowmen and my vintage Santas here again. I think it's so cute. I love nostalgia. Sometimes I think that maybe I had a past life and I was alive during this time period. Um, there's just something so catching to me, so captivating to me about a different time period. If you want to dress something up for the holidays, just add some gingham ribbon. It makes everything so much cuter. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Yuletide carol, fa la 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 la. See the blazing Yule before us, fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure, fa la 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 la. While I tell of Yuletide treasure, fa la 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 la. I'm starting to see my obsession with Christmas has overtaken our home. <laughs> Sometimes I think maybe I should open up a Christmas themed bed and breakfast for all year round. That'd be pretty cool, right? Fa la 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 
la la la Sing we joyous all together Fa la 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 Heedless of the wind and weather Fa la 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 I thought of an old fashioned Christmas when the world was a glitter with snow, when the stars in their lockets of velvet, their silvery beams rain below. When a Christmas tree stands in a corner, decked out in the season's attire, with a pearl white necklace of popcorn, the stringing the children's desire. The shutters unclose at the windows, and friendly the light shining there, like the neighbors who linger when passing, for it is the hour of prayer. I thought of an old-fashioned Christmas, and a church in the Valley of Peace, and the bell with its silver chiming, that eased our cares with its ease. The pails of laughter of children, and toiling around the green tree, pleasing and happy the merriment, how wonderful childhood must be. The logs blaze bright in the fireplace, as the hearts that are merry and gay. As the sleigh bells I hear in the distance and wish they were coming my way. I wish you an old fashioned Christmas with neighbors and family and friends, with church bells and singing and blessings as the old year comes to an end. Helen Monette. I just adorned the fireplace mantle with some um, beautiful beaded garland, some fairy string lights. I always keep these little Christmas trees every year by the fireplace and this really adorable St. Nick's um, Christmas tree sign. And this was one of my favorite movies growing up as a child. It's Babes in Toyland. I did play the original movie in the beginning of this video, which was March of the Wooden Soldiers. But Disney remade it to Babes in Toyland and I grew up with this film. I used to watch this film all the time as a little girl and it's just so fun to watch now as an adult. It brings back so many great memories. And let's talk about what natural beauty what a gorgeous woman Annette Fanicelli was she was Mary in this movie and she is such a natural beauty so I wanted to thank Rebecca Fraser home decor for 
collaborating with me here today on YouTube. It was very special and such an honor. Definitely go check out her channel. I'm going to have all of her information linked down below in the description box. And remember, as Dorothy Gale once said, there's no place like home. That's right, folks. Home, sweet home. I'll see you in the next one.